Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering various special sequences that we use in regular expressions. I will explain all these special sequences with examples. Guys, I have uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. In order to match any character, then you can use special sequences. And we represent special sequences by using backslash symbol. These are various special sequences that we use in regular expressions. I will explain what is use of these special sequences by giving examples. At first, I will explain what is use of backslash a. This is program. At first, you need to import re. After that, I written a equal to my name is Nagendra Kama. My age is 25. Where you need to represent this string in double quotations. Or you can also use single quotations. Next, I written b equal to re dot find all. Guys, for each and every special sequences, you can use find all function. So inside find all function, I am writing slash a and I am giving here my. Guys, we represent all these special sequences with backslash symbol. And for all these special sequences, you can use find all function. So just I written here b equal to re dot find all. Inside find all, I written slash a my. Where slash a is used to check whether given character is available at first or not. Only if character is available at first, I will get output. So I written here backslash a without giving any space, right here my. So it will check whether my is available at first or not. Yes, my is available at first. So I will get output my. As we know, find all function will represent output in the form of list. So inside square brackets, I will get output my in single quotations. This is my output. Backslash a is used to check whether given character is available at first or not. For example, in place of slash a my, if I give here slash a name, that means it will check whether name is available at first or not. Here starting string is my, not name. So here you will not get any output. So it will represent output in the form of empty list. For example, if I write here backslash a m, it will check whether m is available at first or not. Yes, m is available at first. So I will get output m in single quotations. Guys, I already said before, you should not give any space after writing slash a. For example, if I write here slash a space my, that means it will check whether space is available at first or not. So space is not available at first. So you will not get any output. It will display empty list as output. So don't give space. Just write here slash a and whatever the characters that you want to search, place that characters after writing slash a. This is use of slash a. Next, I will explain what is use of slash z, where slash a is used to identify whether characters are available at first or not and whereas slash z is used to identify whether characters are available at last or not. Same example, whereas slash z is used to identify whether characters are available at last or not. For example, here I am writing 25 backslash z. So whereas slash z will check whether these two characters are available at last or not in a given string. So in this string, yes, last two characters are 25. So I'll get output 25 and will represent 25 in the form of string. So it will represent this in single quotations. This is my output. Only if characters are available at last, it will display output. For example, if I write here is, it will check whether is is available at last or not. No, is is not available at last. So you won't get any output. It will display empty list. Next, I will explain what is use of backslash small s, where small s stands for space. Whereas backslash small s is used to identify how many spaces that are present in given sentence. For example, this is my sentence that is my name is Nagendra Kama, my age is 25. I am writing here backslash small s. Whenever I write here backslash small s, how many spaces that are present in given sentence, it will display all those spaces. How many spaces that are present? 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7. Total there are 7 spaces available in my given sentence. So it will display 7 spaces. I already said before, given space is considered as string. So it will represent spaces in single quotations. So how many spaces? Total there are 7 spaces. So it will represent 7 spaces in single quotations. This is use of backslash small s. Next I will explain what is use of backslash capital S. Just write here backslash capital S. It is opposite to small s. Where small s will represent only spaces and whereas capital S will represent all characters except spaces. So whenever you write here re dot find all backslash capital S, you will get output. It will represent each character in single quotations. So you will get output my. It won't count spaces. It will print all these characters except spaces. So you will get output my, na, me, ies, each character in single quotations. It won't count spaces. So just it will print my, na, me, is, na, g, e, n, d, r, a, 
always in single quotations comma in single quotation m y a g e is 25 without any spaces whenever you write here re dot final backslash capital s it will print all characters except spaces this is use of backslash small s and backslash capital s next i will explain what is use of backslash small d just I am writing here backslash small d where small d stands for digits. So it will display only digits available in my given sentence. So total there are two digits. They are 2, 5. So it will print digits from 0 to 9. In this given sentence there are two digits. They are 2, 5. These two are digits. So we will get output 2, 5. Backslash capital D is opposite to backslash small d. That is except the digits it will print remaining characters. Whenever you write here backslash capital D you will get output that is m y space N A M E is Nagendra, my age is. Except 25, it will print remaining. It will represent each character in single quotations. Where small d will print only digits, and whereas capital D will print characters except the digits. This is use of backslash capital D and backslash small d. Next, I will explain what is use of backslash small w. Where backslash small w will print characters that contains alphabets from small a to z and capital A to z and numbers from 0 to 9. This is same as numbers from 0 to 9 and alphabets from small a to z and alphabets from capital A to z. So, it will print all these characters. Except spaces and comma, it will print remaining. So, I will get output. My name is Nagendra. My age is 25 except space and comma it will print remaining and it will print each character in single quotations so you get output m in single quotation y in single quotation and it will avoid space and next one is n a m e so on it won't print comma and it will print until 2 and 5 this is my output this is use of backslash small w Next, I will explain what is use of backslash capital W. It is opposite to small w. Whenever you write here backslash capital W, except characters from 0 to 9, capital A to Z and small a to Z, it will print remaining. So, whenever you write here capital W, you will get output. It will print only spaces and comma. It will print only spaces and comma. So, you will get output 1, 2, 3, 4. Total, there are 4 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4. After that, 1 comma. And next, 1, 2, 3, 4 under 4 spaces. This is my output. Whenever you write here backslash small w, it will print characters from 0 to 9, capital A to Z and small a to Z. And whenever you write here backslash capital W, except numbers from 0 to 9, alphabets from capital A to Z and small a to Z, it will print remaining. What are remaining elements? They are space and comma. So, you will get output spaces and comma. This is my output. Next, I will explain what is use of backslash small b. Before using backslash small b, at first you need to write here r. After writing here r, take double quotations. Inside double quotations, I am writing here backslash b n a. It will check whether any string contains starting characters n a. Yes, for name starting is n a. And next, for Nagendra starting is n a. So, you will get output n a in single quotations. And next, another n a. Because total there are two n a's. So, it will print two n a. For example, if you write here in name, it will check whether name is available at starting. Yes, name is available here. So, it will print name. Whenever you write here backslash b any character, then it will search whether any character available in this string at starting. You need to write slash b starting if you want to search starting characters. And you need to write slash b at ending if you want to search ending characters. For example, I want to search ra is available at last or not. I want to search whether any string contains last character that is ra. So, this string do not contains ra and this string do not contain ra. Yes, Nagendra contains last character ra. So, it will print ra once and just write here r. After writing r, take single quotations where r stands for raw string. Next, I will explain what is use of capital B. It is opposite to small b. Whenever you write here slash b at last, it will search last character. Whenever you write here slash small b at first, it will search first character. I want to search whether ra is available at last or not. So, just I am writing here backslash b first. After writing, write ra. So, it will check whether ra is available at last or not because it is opposite to small b. Whenever you write here backslash capital B first, it will search last character. It will check whether ra is available. Yes, ra is available here. So, it will print ra. For example, I want to search whether any string contains NA first. So, just write here NA backslash capital B. If you want to search first character, then write backslash B last. So, it will check whether any string contains NA first. Yes, name contains NA first and Nagendra contains NA first. 
so it will print output na and na this is my output this is use of backslash small b and backslash capital b these are various special sequences that we use in regular expressions